Hi, I'm Scott Hetrick here in Hollywood. I'm here at the historic Sunset Gower Studios, home of filmmaker Dean Devlin's Electric Entertainment, but only for a couple more days until he moves into his new digs. Dean was kind enough to talk to us in his offices. As one of the most innovative and prominent filmmakers of big budget action movies like Independence Day, The Patriot, Godzilla, Stargate, and many others, we thought it would be most appropriate to have him tell us what his thoughts are on Blu-ray Disc. On Blu-ray Disc. Thanks for taking the time, Dean. Really appreciate it. I wonder if you could revisit some of what you were saying about how the final product now is almost better when it's on digital, which is more the home media platform, than when you have to transfer it over to film. For a while, we've still been shooting on film and, and sometimes uh, uh, doing some analog work in the finalizing of it and then going to digital at the end. Uh, and even there, the, the result has been markedly better than the old-fashioned DVDs. But now we're at this new stage where we're shooting our films digitally, we're, we're finishing them digitally, we're doing digital interpositives. Um, so to be able to present it digitally at the, at the end is really preserving uh, what we're trying to do creatively better than any other uh, format. Uh, very often uh, uh, on a feature film, you'll get a couple prints that are really beautiful, but not quite as beautiful as the original HD. And then, of course, when you go into some other theaters, you know, across America, sometimes you're seeing prints that just look horrible. Right. But now mm -hmm. we, we actually know that if, we, if we've taken the time to do all of our color correction digitally, if we've done all of our effects digitally, we've, we've created a digital product, what comes out on the Blu-ray is spot on to what we were hoping to present to the audience. So it's no longer a, a trying to do the best you can with a format. It's now actually the format that it's uh, created on there was always this an enormous amount of work to try to get it to look as close as you could to the experience that you had in the theater or the experience you had uh, creating it in, in, in post-production. And to varying degrees we would succeed. Uh, but now, when we're doing the Blu-ray, it is exactly. A film I, I made once called uh, Godzilla uh, was designed to be printed on the old-fashioned three-stripe system of Technicolor. And mm -hmm. everything we did in post-production was designed for that result. And uh, literally, just before the film came out, we were unable to make those prints. There was a technical glitch, and we couldn't make those prints. So we had to move to a different format. Well, that different format truly hurt the digital effects. They went from being, I think, literally the best digital effects up to that point in our history to looking somewhat shabby. All the blacks got muddy, I lost all the detail in, it, within special effects shots. Feet didn't look like they hit the ground and suddenly the effects went from being spectacular to being a C plus. Right. Now with the, the new Blu-ray coming out, it's literally the first time that audiences are going to see the movie the way it was intended to look. Now, wow. uh, you know, just on a technical level, that's a very interesting thing for us as filmmakers. Oh yeah, sure. Look, it, a Blu-ray DVD can't solve a story problem. <laughs> you know, so, so all the faults of that film, uh, as far as what I did or didn't accomplish in the script that I worked on, uh, will remain. However, I think that what people will see when they give it another chance right. is that on a technical level, it's really a lot more exciting and, and it was much more uh, revolutionary than, than people realized. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that when people see it now, they're going to see things that they didn't see before. And, and I think they'll actually enjoy the film a lot better. Great. Still won't make it a great movie, <laughs> but it'll be a much better experience. <clears throat> the difference with Blu-ray now is it has these added features, you know, with Blu-ray Live. Right. It, it really kind of opens up things so that it's no longer just an archive of an experience you had many years ago. It can actually now be a living uh, 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 entertainment source that right. can change over the course of time and, and allow interactivity that, that wasn't possible before. How involved do you get in that kind of thing, the bonus features on these Blu-ray discs? Well, I get involved as much as they'll let me. <laughs> you know, one of the problems with filmmakers is that we, we'll, we'll putz around forever. You know, we'll always right. want to kind of play with it. Um, but I think the different, real difference is now, um, because we know that our work will live on the longest uh, in this format, right. uh, the whole process now, you're aware of it. Instead of it being at the end where you're trying to say, well, what else can we put on there? And, oh, there was a cool outtake we had. Let's put that on. Now you're literally thinking from the first day of pre-production, well, what's some stuff we can do that would be specifically uh, 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 germane for the DVD, you know, for the Blu-ray DVD? Uh, even now when we shoot behind-the-scenes footage, we're shooting it in HD. 
because we know it's going to show up on the Blu-ray. So it, mm -hmm. it, it changes a lot of the way you think about creating your product. Wow. There was talk at the CES about some of the various things that use it as a marketing tool. This will actually become part of the creative process. When we're in the mix of a film now and we come up with a terrific sound, we may say, oh, let's pull that out because that would be a fantastic ringtone or that might be a fantastic... But you know, this is so in its infancy. What we're seeing now is a brand new way to experience uh, a film or a movie or, or a movie for television or a TV series. Right. We, we're, we're changing as a culture in the way that we are viewing our entertainment. So it's going to change the way we, we make these things. Interesting. More, more a part of just an extension of the creative process and a creative strategy rather than just an afterthought. That's right. And, and, and certain story elements, that, you know, things that we want to convey to the audience about our show may not work mm -hmm. in a theatrical experience but would be incredibly interesting in the Blu-ray experience. Right. It so surprised me. You know, the, the first film I actually had that came out on Blu-ray was a film I recently did called Flyboys. And Flyboys was shot with the new uh, Genesis camera. In fact, it was the first movie to, to use it. And because it was a new technology, we really spent a lot of time working on getting that image exactly the way we wanted it. And we were actually disappointed when we made the film prints because they weren't quite as good. They were pretty good, but they weren't quite as good as what we had done in digital post-production. Mm -hmm. So when the Blu-ray <clears> came out, I was, I was very nervous because I'd been so involved in the color timing and so involved in creating the, the look of that film that I could tell if it was even slightly off. And yeah. you know, I was so thrilled when what I saw was literally the best print I'd ever seen of the of picture. Wow. So that's when I really started to get excited. And then now as other films that I've done are starting to come on Blu-ray, you can really see uh, what a difference it is. Let's talk a little bit about Independence Day. That comes up pretty quick here on March 11th from Fox. Um, one of your more successful films, to say the least. There's been different versions of the film. You know, the, first, the first version was actually the laser disc, <laughs> you know, right. when that came out. That's right. Um, and what's interesting is that there's been different elements, whether it was on the laser disc or the DVD or the expanded. And Blu-ray has, it's so verbose, it has it's so much, uh, you can put so much information on it, that now we can really put stuff from, from all the different experiences into one kind of ultimate right. collection. Mm -hmm. I, I'm very excited to see, uh, because I, I remember how disappointed we were when the first DVD came out, and mm -hmm. we, we really worked hard to try and give it the best we could, but you know, the framing was different, the, 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 the helicopter blades didn't look right because the transition from the 24 frames to the 30 mm -hmm. frames suddenly made it look odd. And right. In fact, if, if you listen to the DVD commentary, uh, it's very funny because Roland Emmerich and I, the director of the film and I, were watching it together and half the commentary is Roland saying, uh, oh, I can't believe you let me do this, it looks terrible. I would never do that today. <laughs> so Roland wanted to like fix every effect shot. But I, I think that was because we were seeing it in this format where it wasn't designed to be on and it wasn't looking as good as, as it should have. Okay. So it'll be very interesting to see the Blu-ray. I, I have a feeling it will be a, a giant step forward to, uh, uh, to what we had originally envisioned those effect shots to look like. With all of these other electronic technologies and digital downloads and everything else, and, and I know they're starting to move into high def even in those arenas, sure. Does Blu-ray have an advantage over all of that because it's a physical media? Well, I think to some degree, people still like to have a library, and this allows you to have that library. Uh, the Blu-ray Live allows it to remain relevant and, and interactive. So I think the Blu-ray will have, have a long tail life. It's of such a high quality, it will be very hard to duplicate that on a digital download for, for quite some time. You mentioned Flyboys is out, and also Stargate is out, and The Patriot on, yep. on Blu-ray. Um, are you impressed with those on Blu-ray? Do you like the look of those? I, I, very much so. All of my films uh, have been Blu-ray. I don't really have an agenda. You know, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm not paid by Sony. I'm not uh, here to promote something because I have a deal. Uh, you know, I'm here talking about it because I'm actually really excited about the format. Thanks to Dean Devlin for taking time out of his day to talk to us about Blu-ray Disc. We'll see you next time with our next interview here on HollywoodandHighDef.com.